the channel uh, it's your boy this is Marcus Howard's channel and uh, for those that don't know me I'm a photographer based out of Evansville Indiana Midwest aka um, I've been shooting for about five years um, I actually started out shooting videography before I uh, transitioned over to like fully um, just shooting pictures you can catch me making videos of myself but, but I actually won't do that for anyone else anymore like I used to but as I was saying I've been shooting for about six years now five five years now uh, my journey has been pretty pretty interesting because uh, you know I'm also uh, for those that don't know I'm also a licensed counselor uh, so my struggle has been or my dilemma when it comes to uh, what I want to do for the rest of my life has been either counseling or uh, professional photographer right um, been in the midst of uh, working as a counselor for these past three years actually um, I just couldn't put my camera down uh, I used to catch myself wanting to even record myself uh, giving uh, giving sessions to patients like I just couldn't put my camera down ever I took it with me everywhere I went if I went to a seminar I took it to take pictures uh, I remember even while working as a counselor uh, we had a, uh, a race for the community and uh, they needed someone to take pictures and I, I said hey I'll take the pictures you know um, people didn't know if I was a photographer or, or a counselor. <laughs> people just, they, they just, you know, they didn't get it. Uh, I didn't get it, you know. Um, but right now, uh, I've transitioned over to fully uh, taking pictures, man. And, and it's been a journey, um, even though on the side, you know, uh, I do I do side work for an office um, that I actually used to be a, a co-partner of. But recently, I you know gave that up uh, due to me transitioning over to fully, you know, being a photographer. Right. Um, lately, I've been shooting film, film only. I have a digital that I'll, I'll pull out uh, at certain times, but uh, never really. Since transitioning over to fully being a film photographer, it's been amazing. Um, this this process has actually made me realize why I. I removed uh, counseling from my lifestyle excuse me it's pretty loud so but you know like as I've been learning how to um, shoot film I've also been learning how to develop film um, so basically I'm creating like fully right now um, I'm shooting the picture on the film taking that roll of film and actually developing it, it myself and then from developing it myself all the way to scanning it myself then all the way to digitizing it myself and then being able to post it myself um, the art in this is beautiful and it has made me realize that I have fully integrated um, my shadow <laughs> when it comes to not knowing myself um, and what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, you know, I'll always be able to give back to people in every way. But I even remember uh, when I was younger, my stepdad, you know, even to this date, he has every, almost every film camera you can, you know, we all, you know, search for to have, you know, he has those, you know, he used to shoot those, you know, when he was my age and, and your age or whatever. And, um, that always that always stuck with me when I was younger you know I would pick up a camera sometimes but I wouldn't actually want to use it I would just always and it always made me feel like man like this is cool but you know it took time for me to realize that that was like something that I like would fall in love with actually uh, without it man my mental health is shot you know like mentally photography it does a lot for me you know like a lot of us can't really say why we do these things but photography man it, it has changed my life 
um, everything about my life today since removing the stress of being a counselor uh, and doing this and doing that and just focusing on this man my life has, has just been a breeze guys and, and I, I really encourage you guys to really if you're battling with what you want to become man become that instead of battling it's it's a that journey in itself is beautiful but striving to be what you really want to be is really the goal and that's the end goal that's my end goal it's a lot of my friends end goal but as creators like we, we just gotta figure out how to be that and really well, most of the time it's, it's innate it's in you like it's in you you don't have to be it so much right even though you know it's just like no you are that and um you know, we, we go around here not knowing that we can call ourselves what we want to call ourselves. You know, labels and whatnot, yeah, but if you want to call yourself a photographer, go ahead, man. If you want to call yourself this or that, go ahead. But but you better be putting in that work, you know, behind those words, you know. And that's one thing that I do believe in. Um, because photography, taking on this role in 20... Uh, the first time picking up buying my own camera in 20... Uh, 15 was just the best idea I had in my in my in my book it has allowed me to just meet people uh, change my ways in a sense everything and above man but as I was saying about like photography being innate in me I, I can't ex express to you guys how this makes me feel when I'm taking a picture or just seeing the outcome of it. Like it provides real feeling. Photography provides, it makes me feel like whatever that is. And, and I love to feel because, you know, a lot of us are numb to, you know, what's in front of us. Taking a picture of that, <laughs> it keeps me captivated with, you know, with whatever that is and I, and I can't get that feeling from from anything else um, I wake up man and I'll, I'll even be dreaming about this stuff man it's it's just so interesting how being creative keeps can keep the mind afloat can keep you alive can keep um, you just going it's it's amazing but in this video uh, I want to show you guys how I actually uh, go about my developing process, how I develop my film. Um, it's definitely not easy, but it's getting easier as I, as I uh, continue to develop my own film. I want to show you guys how I do that and how that works if you're at home trying to learn how to develop film or even shoot film. Um, the developing process is the most important part uh, about being a film photographer predominantly. It's not easy chemicals are, are easy to work with once you get familiar with them but they make they cause messes you know like sometimes your film can come out you know the opposite of what you were, were expecting and you just got to be ready for that which is another reason why film photography has been amazing for me i've been able to slow down you know how we're like with our digital cameras we're like oh i got it i got it. i got enough pictures you know like that is so annoying to me now like i enjoy taking my time with my 10 shots that i have in my film more than having a digital camera and taking a hundred pictures and using 12 of them it's just it's just amazing how i've slowed down and now i can actually i can actually see what i'm shooting now instead of just shooting for that person or you know that client I see what I'm shooting you know and it's due to slowing this process down and taking my time uh, with my craft and you know if this if this is your craft you should try it out and, and if you're wondering how I started just keep watching my videos because I'm going to uh, give you guys free game uh, on top of all the information I'm giving uh, I really encourage you guys to basically uh, find out whatever that is that you want out of photography and, and, and master it and, and take it to the next level, you know.
uh, that's the, that's the goal also. So for those of you guys who aren't familiar with, uh, you know, just how how I shoot, how I process my film, uh, stay tuned. Watch this video, uh, please, guys. Like, subscribe, share. Like, subscribe, share. Like, subscribe, share. Please, guys, because YouTube, uh, my followers are only at 46, man. I should be having, like, 100 followers already. Honestly, man. Like, I know you guys don't want to see me all the time, but, man, I should have at least 100 followers, you know, right now. So, check this out. I said this in my last video. My hundredth follower will get a hundred dollars for free, just for being my hundredth follower. Or if you're the person that made, if if I'm on follower 99 and, and you uh, encourage someone to be my hundredth follower, I'll give you the hundred dollars. You know, so like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned. Continue watching this video because I'm getting ready to show you guys some fire, fire pictures along with how to develop so until next time do something with your life for about 30 seconds to a minute. But I'm getting ready to go in here to the dark room, AKA my butt, my bathroom, and put this film roll on there. Uh, and I'll be back. Okay, 
Let's kind of start a recording. So guys, we're, I'm back up. I got the film roll on here perfectly. I've struggled a little bit, but you'll have that. Just make sure that it's tight on the uh, film roller. So right now, like I said earlier, you want to rinse the film once you get it inside there. You don't want to just go straight to developing. You want to get that. You want to get that clean a little bit first, right? So uh, make sure that water is at 80 degrees, or at 102 degrees, the same as uh, the, the, the developer and the Blix. So since it's not, I'm going to just add some hot water to this to make this. make sure this is hot it's just hot as this water in here because this water isn't warm at all it's pretty actually kind of hot okay so that's that's cool and I'm gonna put this in here with the film I'm gonna rinse this a little bit guys Okay guys, so I've got that rinsed and now I'm going to go ahead and begin my process of developing. So, my cell phone. Hold on. <laughs> Get, I've got D for developer, B for Blix. It's easy to get these two chemicals put in at the wrong time, guys. So for the first uh, part of developing, you're gonna be using the developer. That goes inside here, and you you do that from around three and a half minutes to three minutes first. And then you do th this thing called agitation. Agitation is pretty much what I'm about to show you guys. Put this developer in first. Get my timer set to three and a half minutes, really quick. It's actually already set. Okay, let's get it going. Fill the first mic. This is my favorite part. So do you part. put that whole bottle in there? Um, I usually just make sure it gets uh, to where I can see it. Mm. I never really fill it, to, fill it to the top, but I'm not certain if that's a rule that, that you need to do, but I never do. No. Agitation, first 20 seconds. I'm gonna give this two and a half minutes up because it's already been at least a minute. switch this out put this blix in there and put in put this back through this three and a half minutes have been up now the blix that that time frame is different that time frame is actually uh, six and a half minutes it's actually what's produced in the film i would assume due to it needing a longer time period i'm gonna rinse this off a little bit get this timer set all right. Now it's time to put the blicks in. Blicks 
thinks it's disgusting and makes the most mess out of the two chemicals. So make sure you don't get it on your clothes. Nowhere. If it gets somewhere, it doesn't stain. At least I haven't got it stained yet. But it is nasty. Six and a half minutes, guys. Six and a half. Manutos. I think that they can make some better pat Patterson tanks because for some reason, the, even when you have this on there tightly, it somehow when you're when you're agitating, it, it still leaks. It leaks somehow. So for that first 20 seconds, you want to just agitate the whole time. Six and a half minutes the whole time. Just be agitating a little bit. Sorry about that. And make sure you're going in this motion. This motion is definitely the motion that it has to be in. Agitation. Every 30 seconds, just go for five seconds. Alright. The blitz is going back in. The Blix Jug. Moment of truth right here. Plus. Yeah. Not only that, we get to see what roll, because I didn't mark them. <laughs> yeah, we don't even know which camera we're actually, actually got, so. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, it's a roll that, that we know is worth developing. Exactly. Hopefully, if it's a roll that doesn't have those two shots that I took with the lens off, with the lens cap on it. <laughs> Boy, all right, and here we are. Oh, snaps. Let's see what we got. Definitely Whoa. see pictures of Robin. Robin. Those are the ones. These are the ones. That's crazy. Ooh. That's tight. Ooh. Bruh. Ooh. That's my first row. So this is gonna this is about to teach me a lot. You're right here, it's fucked up. Not oh, fucked up, but there's one uh, dent right there. Oh, that's fine. I mean even if it shows something weird on it, it's cool. It's going on. Yeah. It always happens to, to something. Like every row is gonna be something, bro. Right. I mean, well that's the imperfections of film, that's what yes. makes it unique. So hey guys, this is what the end result will look like for your film roll. Uh, put in the light if you guys can see it a little bit better. This actually came out really awesome. Um, I took my time, obviously, as you guys see. But these pictures are going to look really great. The next step is scanning. Which I use is a Epson D600 scanner or V550. And I'm just going to pit these up here for now. I just hang things up here up top, guys. <laughs> as you see, something else is drying already. Might as well add to it. Huh? And how long does it take for it to dry? Uh, it just depends anywhere from 20 to 30. That's what's up. Want to go longer. Want to go less, add the fan to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go get that fan. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> 